Hello students this is Harish Nagar and uh, today's lecture I'm going to talk about Mulkraj Anand guys Mulkraj Anand was born in 1905 and he died in 2004 before we talk about the life of Mulkraj Anand I would like to tell you that Mulkraj Anand and RK Narayan and Raja Rao all three of them known as the trio of Indian English fiction so three of them form the early trio of Indian English fiction please remember this fact now coming on to the life of mulk raj anand we find that he is from punjab and because he depicted the suffering of the social disadvantaged people in india he is known as the dickens of the east because we have charles dickens who showed the social disadvantaged people and we have mulk raj anand who did the same thing but since mulk raj anand is from east and not from west that is why mulk raj anand is known as dickens of the east as you can see in the works of mulk raj anand he was quite influenced by charles darwin and karl marx when he was a student he participated in the freedom struggle and when he was in college he was arrested and imprisoned for participating in the gandhian movement so you can see how nationalist movement form a very integral part of his life apart from that his vision as a writer is shaped by both eastern as well as western philosophical traditions east and west dono ka amalgamation se mulk raj anand ki apni alag writings bani hui hain now he considered that it is a double burden on his shoulders why because eastern and western philosophical tradition both has shaped him as a writer and therefore he says very beautifully that i have a double burden because on one side i have alps of european tradition and on the other side i have himalayas of the indian past so alps which is one of the most important mountain range of europe saying that i have alps on one side and on the other side i have himalayas he received padam bhushan and sahitya academy award also so remember this thing guys and he also worked with t s eliot on his magazine called criterion t s eliot was working on the journal criterion and mulk raj anand collaborated with t s eliot and he also worked on criterion now in this particular lecture i shall be talking about 10 works of mulk raj anand so let's start guys the first work is untouchable published in the year 1935 this book was inspired by her aunt's experience so his aunt was considered an outcast by his family simply because she had a meal with a muslim women and the kind of treatment her aunt received after having lunch with the muslim women had a very important impact on his life and that is why he wrote this work untouchable so in the story untouchable he talk about a day in life of a sweeper whose name is bakha Bakha is the protagonist and he is a sweeper boy of 18 year old now the novel revolves around one day in his life and shows how he experience of humiliation throughout the day and this particular day the experience facing is repeatedly on everyday basis now we find that he is beaten and abused in the novel because he touched of a high caste hindu by chance so he did not deliberately touch on hindu but then he unknowingly touched the hindu and because of that he was beaten and abused then he was not allowed to enter the temple his sister was also abused or molested by the temple priest so he was also talking about how priests are because this priest says that i am a high class hindu i am brahmin and because this priest says that i am a high class hindu i am a brahmin and therefore i would never allow a shudra or person from a lower caste to come in the front of me but then the same priest he molested the sister of bakha then we get to know that bakha had to clean the drain in order to get the left our food and he is cursed for polluting a wounded boy whom he helped to reach his home so actually he was helping this wounded boy to reach his uh, home but then when his family found that uh, the wounded boy came with an untouchable uh, boy the people cursed him for polluting this boy so all these incidents happen when we read this novel 
and we find that untouchability is one of the most important social evil that must be addressed and that must be eradicated from our society and towards the end of the novel we find three alternative solution are suggested for this evil of untouchability the first suggestion is given by colonel hutchinson who is a local salvation army he suggests that christianity is the only solution of untouchability because there is no untouchability in christianity the second solution is given by mahatma gandhi who advocates social reforms and says that all indians are equal so as uh, i have already mentioned in the lecture on mahatma gandhi that it is important to notice his influence on the other writers because in all the works of uh, the writers who were writing during the independence struggle they all were talking about the gandhian consciousness and we could uh, see the same thing in untouchable also plus what is important here to know is that mahatma gandhi addressed untouchables as harijan that means the beloved children of god so according to mahatma gandhi everyone should be treated equally and the third solution is put forward by the modernist poet who says that we need to introduce a flush system so uh, see guys why are these people call untouchable because they wash the toilets and uh, they uh, you know collect the urine and stool and they are the one who needs to put all this urine and stool in the draining system so if we have flush then nobody needs an untouchable or nobody needs anybody who could clean the washroom because flush system everything happens by that particular machine so the modernist poet says that if we introduce the flush system then we can eradicate the untouchability so that was the novel untouchable by mulkraj anand the introduction of untouchable was written by anand's friend em foster please remember mulkraj anand and em foster were close friend and in this novel we find that gandhi appears as a person towards the end who speaks on the evil of untouchability and the novel dwells upon two main problems one is caste system and the other one is sanitization so caste system and sanitization are the two main problems are addressed in this particular work now we move on to the next work of mulk rajanand which is kuli kuli was published in 1936 and it revolves around the 14 year old boy named munno and the novel revolves around unfortunate situation he faces due to the poverty and exploitation why because he was inferior person he is from a inferior caste now munno is an orphan porter boy who comes to his village home in kangra's hill and he has to work in pathetic condition and he finally dies of tuberculosis because of working in such hazardous places he works as a domestic servant of kuli then he works as a factory worker then he became a rickshaw puller at various location from bombay to shimla and the unpleasant condition faced by all the untouchable in our country we also find that he is a simple villager who is forced to migrate from the village to the city where he has to support himself and the challenges he faced to live in this city is exposed in this particular novel now guys the next work is two leaves and a bud this was published in 1937 bud means it is a flower not the full bloomed flower but a flower which is almost on the verge of becoming a mature flower that is bud now this particular work talk about gangu who is a peasant working in plantation in assam and he tries to protect his daughter from british soldiers because british soldiers are after his daughter and they tries to rape gangu's daughter so gangu was shot dead by a british officer when he tries to save his own daughter the novel also talk about the unhygienic condition in which these workers have to work and how they are starved and it is also shows that how a white man shows himself as racially superior whereas indian laborers are having no rights of their own so white men because they are racially superior they are always considered superior they are given importance they are never punished for the crimes they committed whereas indian laborers they are given subhuman treatment and they don't have any rights of their own and they finally suffer at the end so that is two leaves and a bud 
published in 1937 the next work is a village published in 1939 now this is a part of mulk raj anand's trilogy write the name of the other two works which are a part of trilogy the first one is a village second is across the black waters and the third one is the sword and the sickle now this particular work a village revolves around lal singh who is a peasant in punjab and he goes against the social norms in the village then he enrolls himself in the army but then there are a lot of problem he faces during his tenure in the army finally he returns back to his village so the work a village revolves around lal singh and his journey as an army officer and how he comes back to his village the next work that uh, was across the black waters this talk about the experience of lalu who is a sipahi in uh, world war and this man lalu he is portrayed by the author as an innocent peasant whose poor family was evicted from their land and he vaguely understands what the war is about like he does not know why are they fighting but still because he is a sipahi in the indian army and indian army was dominated by the british government so he has no option but to go and fight for british people and this is the only indian english novel which is set against the world war first so please remember this is the only work set against the world war first the next work is the sword and the sickle and i have already told you it is a part of mulk raj anand's trilogy and the title of this work was given to him by george orwell remember guys animal farm in 1984 the author of animal farm has given the title of the book the sword and the sickle to mulk raj anand and the book deals with the topic of social and political structure especially the rise of communism so book talks about communism and the ill effect of communism the next one by mulk raj anand is big heart this was published in 1945 now this was written in stream of consciousness style and the main theme is conflict between the copper smith and capitalist so we have hereditary copper smith workers jinke father bhi copper smith worker the aur wo khud bhi copper smith the and again this copper smith are the capitalist capitalist people are the ones who want to make money so they are the owner of a factory and they told everyone to work but we wages ko apne paas hi rakhte the aur we logo ko achhi wages nahi dete the because they are exploiting the laborers in order to make the money they are called capitalist now there is a conflict between tradition and modern machines so copper smith want that they should work with hands so that they can get money whereas the capitalist says that we should put machines so that we can need to hire less people and with less people we, we will be able to produce a lot of goods so this will basically lead to the problem of unemployment that is why there is a conflict between traditional and modern machine and who is the hero of this particular work the name of the hero is anant anant is a copper smith and anant says this is a machine age sons this is a machine age we are men who will master it the entire action of this novel takes place on a single day just like we have untouchable similarly the entire novel takes place on a single day the important point about this novel is gandhi's followers in the novel says that machine are not good why because it will increase in unemployment whereas we have anant who accept the importance of machine and said that evil of machine can be overcome if laborers instead of capitalist control them so basically he is saying that machine are not the problem the problem is that capitalist people own the machine and they employ us and they give us only very limited amount and rest of the money they mint but he is saying that if the laborers own the machine then laborers can sort out the problem because machine are good they can give you a lot of production in a very less time and with the very minimum efforts but the only problem is that it has been used by capitalist and not by the laborers the next work by mulk raj anand is collection of autobiographies written by him so basically he wanted to write a seven part autobiography which he wanted to call as seven ages of man so mulk raj anand sat autobiography likhna chahta tha but then he was only able to complete four autobiographies uh, the first one is seven summers this talk about the first seven year of his life the next one is the morning faces 
so in this particular work he talk about his nationalist feeling his patriotic feeling his love affair and it has received sahitya academy award also the next one is confessions of a lover this particular work talk about his growth from childhood to adolescence and finally we have the last autobiography which is bubble so in this particular work he talk about his stay in england for 5 years as a scholar when he was engaged in the preparation of a thesis now the hero of the autobiographies is obviously mulk rajanand but then he was writing under the disguise name of krishna chandra krishna chandra is the hero of his autobiography now we move on to the next work the next work of mulk rajanand is private life of indian prince the private life of an indian prince was published in 1953 and in this he described the neurotic world of a prince it is also semi autobiographical work basically the hero is a person who goes through a mental breakdown when this work was written mulkraj anand also experienced a mental breakdown and therefore it is a semi autobiographical work and the work deals with the abolition of princely state system in india we all know that india was following the princely state system and in this particular work he says that we need to abolish that system if we want india to live in harmony and peace so the work is titled as the private life of an indian prince finally guys we move on to the last work of mulkraj anand and which is the old women and the cow this was published in 1960 this is the only novel of mulk rajanand which has a women as a central character so the name of the woman is gori and mulk rajanand himself says that gori is a tribute to indian womanhood and the story is based on an ancient myth so remember old women and the cow is the only work by mulk rajanand which has women as a central character so let's have a recap of all the works we have done so far first is untouchable published 1935 coolie published 1936 two leaves and a bird published in 1937 a village published in 1939 across the black waters published in 1939 the sword and the sickle published in 1942 the big hurt published in 1945 autobiographies written by mulk raj anand they were published from 1951 Private Life of Indian Prince published in 1953 and Old Women and Cow published in 1960 so that's it for this lecture guys if you like my video kindly share with your friends so that they can also learn and enjoy the english literature thank you